Okay. All right. Welcome, everybody. And so, like, like we start, we would start with the Pledge of Allegiance. So please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, with invisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to welcome everybody. This was a definitely a sold out event and it was it's just a lot of fun to see everybody. We've had a few tough years with being isolated and this has just been fabulous to see so many smiling faces. I want to we're going to be welcoming them then later but Linda would you stand up? I want to uh, parents supporting parents. That was our big fundraiser this year. And Linda's been phenomenal talking to us and even at the soiree there wasn't a dry eye and so we want to thank the table that was supporting us here today too and we will be talking about that later okay and you have stickers on your um, name tags some of you have stickers <laughs> like like Karen does and she's been here but I can't announce everybody at a huge event like this because the kitchen really needs to feed us and we're hungry. And so, but you have stickers on your name tags and the, the, the pink ones are new members and the, and the yellow ones are guests. And we welcome each and every one of you and hope that you join us again. And it's just been fabulous to see so many faces. Okay. Because, because if I introduce everybody, then you can't shop, and that's not good. <laughs> okay, I want to look at this beautiful centerpieces. Uh, Pat, can you stand up? And I want to say, th <laughs> she's taking sorry, sorry, she's taking pictures. So uh, I want to thank Pat for her for these lovely centerpieces. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, our greeters. Okay, our greeters. Terry Cordo. Sharon Avis, y'all wave. Susan Thomas. Where's Gretchen? Gretchen. Where's Gretchen? Ah, oh, Gretchen Maloney. And did I miss anybody that? That I know, but I'm. I, I, ha, I know, but it's Jean's birthday, so I'm going to thank her. And I also heard Veronica's birthday. Where is Veronica? And is there anybody else's birthday today that I'm missing? Anyway, we want to wish you happy birthday to, the, to them. Yay. Whoa. Okay, and this, this could not have taken place without Barbara Marcio. Barbara, will you stand up? Because of this fabulous holiday boutique, this is, she arranged it. She did, I mean, I was there yesterday just dropping off a little something. She's, her car is full of stuff. Her husband, trust me, Bert, is so ready to get everything out of their house. And she really is the spearhead that did this. And so a round of applause definitely goes to her. And the raffle girls, we cannot miss the raffle girls. Nancy, where are you, Nancy? Nancy Kurtz, Nancy. Okay, Linda, 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 Pat, and Joanne. Oh. Are we still taking raffle tickets, Linda? Are we still taking raffle tickets? If anyone needs one, please raise your hand because we want to get, oh, we have some that are takers, Linda, over here. Um, so we're going to be pulling those shortly, so we want to make sure that you get your, your tickets in. Okay, and there's a reminder, we're, since these luncheons are kind of filling up, we have a basket in front. So if you want to go ahead and put your check in for the December luncheon, please go ahead and do that. Um, I want you to know that because of the holiday situation and it's booked certain days, we're going to be going to Thursday, December 15th. We will send out, it's on the tables, but we'll also send out a, um, an e-blast to you and let you know that it's Thursday, December 15th. Okay, and the Victorian carolers are back. Those of you who have been here before was a request, right, Jean? <laughs> a request for the carolers, and they will be back on December 15th. Please 
festive holiday attire. We're going to make it fun and special. It's going to be a blast. So that's what we'll send the email out. Now I'm going to turn this over to Mary Liz right now because we have one more. Oh, does it raise your hand if anybody wants the tick wants the raffle tickets? Linda has some. Here is Mary Liz. Well, I've got show and tell here. December luncheon is our mission statement is a charity and fun social and I think with doing this for the baby center and our carolers I think it it solidifies our mission statement so I hope to, that you come and, and the checks that are going to be in the front if you want to do it now we also take Venmo and also before you leave please make sure you put your name tags in your bath in the basket in the lobby on the way out but also, Joanne has something to say about the December luncheon. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, we wanted to do something.
something for the mothers of the babies at the baby center. So we've got this big basket, which we are asking you to bring to fill up with sundries that you get when you go on a hotel, now we're traveling again, uh, when you go to the uh, dentist and you get a little package of goodies from the dentist, um, samples that you get when you buy makeup. Um, we're gonna have this basket out here and we hope to fill it over more than once. But um, if you could remember to do that, bring it to the December luncheon, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Also, I just heard my phone ringing so much. Did anybody find a phone? <laughs> Along with the lost phone, we have an earring. Um, Jean, would you put the ear? Hand the, anybody missing an earring? Okay. Oh, there, there it is. Over there. Raise your hand so she can see you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And and Nancy Kurtz, lunch girls. Lunch Bunch, we're going to combine November and December, and we just got a date. I'm, I like to tell Nancy, that's, she loves the Lunch Bunch. And, and it's going to be December 2nd at the Hyannis Yacht Club, and so we'll have to have reservations before. An email will be sent out. They'll do separate checks, and you can do it off the menu. So it'll be fun, festive time on December 2nd. Okay, and before I turn it over, I want to um, talk to Linda. Linda... This doesn't just happen, and I know she's going to kill me, but this doesn't just happen. Linda lives and breathes this uh, constantly, because I know I get emails from her at 5 in the morning. So she has just been amazing, and I want to thank her for all of doing all of this. Thank you. Where, where is the, um, the, the oh. centerpiece? Oh, it's under a chair. Okay. Um, and then we're, at the end of this, we're finished. We're not going to do any... Um, any raffles for the centerpiece. The centerpiece, later look under your chair, there's a leaf, and whoever has the chair leaf, they win the centerpiece. Now, we're gonna turn it, oh, I'm turning it over to Barbara um, for the end. All right. <laughs> All right, Linda. <laughs> Okay, Linda, am I, am I missing anything? What's that? Before I turn it over to Barbara, am I missing anything? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay, ladies. 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 I probably should have done that later. <laughs> As it's causing quite a fiasco. I, I want to, okay, I, I thank Barbara already for, ladies, ladies. I thank Barbara already for this wonderful, wonderful event, but she also did the soiree, which we just had in September, which was fabulous, was absolutely fabulous. But I'm gonna let her talk about her fabulousness and I'll let her finish and introduce um, the, the um, check and everything to parents supporting parents. And I just want you to know that it was just such a fun event and we enjoyed it and we love doing it for you. I don't know about my fabulousness, but I certainly um, appreciate all the accolades. And I uh, appreciate everybody being here today. Because what's a better time to present the proceeds from one fundraiser, but at another fundraiser? We're here today. And the benefit today um, goes to the Mashpee Women's Fund Scholarship Fund. So all the raffle tickets, all the proceeds from the raffle tickets will be going to that. So we're pleased uh, to have the great turnout that we do today. And as Susan said, uh, these events combine uh, Mashpee Women's Club's multifaceted missions, which include both social as well as charitable. And as you can see, there's always something charitable going on and also a lot of fun things as well. So it's great, I call that a win-win for everybody. 
Now the soiree that we had back in September was called uh, Sunset Soiree, and it featured art, wine, and jazz. And it was to benefit a group called Parents Supporting Parents, which basically works with families and individuals dealing with substance abuse disorder. And we were so um, pleased when we went through our selection process for the charity, because we do pick a major charity uh, for a fund, different charity for each fundraiser that we do, whether it's every year or every other year. And um, besides the fabulous mission and uh, work that they do, supporting each other and the families dealing with addiction and substance abuse, uh, they're also relatively new as a 501c3. They've been around doing other work. They're all volunteer, and their budget is relatively small compared to a number of the other candidates that we looked at. So we're thrilled that we could have an impact on their organization with the fundraising that we do, as opposed to some which have a million or $10 million budgets. And while our fundraising efforts we're thrilled with, we appreciate the fact that we can have more of an impact besides the type of work that we do. Now, the fundraiser itself, while we had a little dip in the attendance compared to the previous year, we were thrilled that we were able to increase the proceeds so um, that we had gotten the previous year. And I have to thank a fabulous committee, and again, I'm going to try and be quick, but I do want to just briefly uh, ask them to wave also uh, as I read their names. And some of it's the same suspects because we get people involved in a lot of different things. Joanne Burke, Susan Creed, our president, Pat Papalia, who's a jack of all trades doing uh, multiple things, Catherine Schwartz, our treasurer, Lee Smith, Lee is here today, Susan Thomas, Andrea Watson, and Susan Van Toll, who happens to be one of the vendors today. So again, we're on multifaceted. So thank you all for your efforts. It certainly um, couldn't have done it without you. And also the supporters who did come. Because uh, when they got there, they supported the event and the fundraising components in a major way. So we appreciate all the people who were there. And as a result, I am thrilled to report that we were able to raise $13,025 to present to parents for the And again, we're hoping this has a major impact. One of their primary programs that this is going to go to are called Sober Living Scholarships. And I'm going to introduce Linda Cabalas, the president, who's going to share a little bit more about the organization. I'm thrilled she also has five other um, members of their organization here today, several of whom who have lost family members to this. So we're just thrilled that we can have an impact on what they're doing and help our neighbors throughout Cape Cod. So Linda, please come up. the moms here because it's the reason why we do what we do and I, I, I like to say the children's names because we don't get to hear their names as much as 
we get to hear some of our other kids' names, but we have Pat Dutra with her daughter Nicole. Matt, do you want to stand for a second? Justin, we have Jill Marinara, and her son is Joey, and we have Deb Reagan, and her son is, is oh my God, Jake, sorry, and we have Kathy, who is one of our volunteers as well here today, and I just can't thank you enough. Uh, the reason why I started this, I think some of you know, is because of all the angels that we lost. 29 members from our group, little group on Cape Cod. We're not a big group, we're a little group, and we've lost 29 kids in six and a half years. That's a lot of Cape Cod children, but that's just a teeny portion of what because I think many of you probably know there's prob there's many people that we know struggling with addiction, but it stays in the family. It doesn't leave the house. Nobody wants to talk about it. It's the elephant in the room, you know. But I implore you to please, if you have family members struggling, encourage them to join a support group. We've been around for over 10 years now, um, actually 12 years, and. Um, there's so much help in the room, and these ladies come back. Even though they've lost children, they come back to try and help somebody else. So you are making a difference with this donation, hugely. We've got, I think we're up to 138 scholarships this year. It's way more than we took in this year, but you're making a difference. You're gonna help us be able to really change some lives, and our, our research shows that we are changing lives because we are going back and checking in with these people. So thank you so much. If any of you are online on Facebook, if you follow us, we do a huge, last year over 250 items in our online auction. So you don't have to leave your house, you can do it all from home. I have brochures if you want one. And uh, thank you so much, Barbara, and all of you ladies. Without you, you are our village. We have a tribe. You're our village, and, and we need to change what's happening. And it's only us as moms, I think, <laughs> that are going to make that difference. And you guys, you ladies are all doing it for us. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. We're thrilled to be able to um, help in this effort. Thank you all again. Time to eat. <laughs> and uh, we will let you know who won the raffle. Thank you.